Welcome back guys to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video and in today's video what we are going to be doing is continuing on with our walkthrough. This is part 3 if you guys haven't seen the first two uh, walkthroughs I'm going to link down below the playlist that way you guys can just watch the first and the second video before you watch this one because if you just watch this one I don't think it'll make sense. So let's uh let's come over here to our mission let's just get off our horse right here really quick and we can walk up in here. <coughs> Get right into it. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have the a aftermath few cans of Genesis and a rabbit for what? 10, 12 people. When I was in the Navy, I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days, and you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're going to need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Why well, I always got to be doing stuff for our camp, man? Yeah, you take this. Ooh. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. A bow? Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Well, he ain't wrong. All right. Let's head out. All right, so I guess we're hunting in this episode. I'm trying to keep all these videos under 30 minutes as best as I can, guys. Because I know a lot of you don't have a lot of time to watch uh, a lot of YouTube. Because, like, school and stuff. But So I'm just trying to keep it under 30 minutes uh, per episode. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just wait, 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 wait. wait. To think back on. I still don't really know what R B and on X. That boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me. Oh, look at that. that. Sure That's cool. Good. We need to get there. Come on. All right, let's go. Yo, why does it put me in cinematic mode? Like, I'm not even trying to push cinematic mode. I just wanted to see if I could do a wheelie with my horse, guys. Damn. I'm not complaining, though. It looks really cool. And I don't have to do anything. So I could just, like, talk to you guys if I need to. Or wanted to. All right, here we go. They put us back in. And yeah. So again, this game looks super stunning, super amazing. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Is it now? Oh, we're going off Come the trail. On. Let's try this way. I'm going Keep off the beaten path. Eyes peeled for movement. I can't see anything. Everything's too. super white. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, 
stop here a second. I see something. You've been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. All right. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Okay. Oh, that's not what I'm gonna do. Let's go over here. Our horse and horse weapons. Let's go over to um the bow and there's something over here that was blinking but I guess no it's gone I have the bow stay low and move slowly all right so we're gonna crouch where's the deer dude I'm so lost you see the tracks I think so maybe not focus I don't see anything. Oh, over here. Oh, I do see the tracks. They're right there. Look where the boat, the butt, I mean the arrow. Look where the arrow's at. And you can see the tracks on the ground. Yeah, that's cool. Let's come over here. We can activate Eagle Eye if we need it. Looks like the deer went off in that direction. Um, Yo, everything is super white. Uh, oh, we're going this way. I still do not see a deer. Oh, I guess we're going to keep going. Okay. Uh, tracks are right there, I assume. Oh, they came this way over here. Ah, yes. Now I can see the tracks a little bit better. A little bit better. Shh. Oh. Down there. Where? You see him? No. Are you ready with that bow? Bro, I am so lost. The neck or head. Oh, I see him. Quick He's over clean. there. The Get neck and head. The Just don't overdo it. Hold RT to draw the string. Um... The further you draw on the stick. Okay. So, I think you need stamina to do that. Okay. So, let's just really quick hold off a little bit. And, oh wait. Here we go. Alright, so can I do this? Okay, why did I do that? I hit the butt. Now let's try for another. Let's try for another. Hunt another deer. Okay, cool. There's one way over there.
This might be our only chance for a good meal. Yo, this is really hard. Well, duh, they went over there. Yo, it is so hard to see right now. Yo, is that one right there? Oh, it is. All right, cool. You I'll sure take this one. Okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go uh, pick it up. Oh my goodness. And we can call our horse. Call a horse right here. Let's whistle for him. Oh, wait. We have details. I guess not. Oh, hold up. Yo, what was that? Come here, horsey. Come here. Yo, look at how the deer moves. That's so cool. Okay, let's stow it on the deer. Perfect. Alright, let's get up. And let's book it over there. Alright, so we just hunted two deers. That's pretty good. We're going to be able to feed our uh, little base nice work, thing, our camp. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, <laughs> she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. 
and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Bear. Let's see if we can find another way around. Oh, that one right there. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yo, I don't want to deal with a bear. Not today. Cut up here, off the trail. All right, boy. Okay, so my horse got spooked, and I just tried to calm it down. Talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Yeah, man, Good. he can hunt. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but ah! he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. Oh, watch it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. All right, so we're back in camp. We brought the butcher some, uh, we brought Mr. Pearson some deer so he can make us some, uh, lovely, lovely deer meat. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. Um, okay, here we go. It's not letting me drop it. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. 
Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Well, I had nowhere else to put it, and you straight said, just dump it anywhere. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's graphic. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you can <laughs> trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> that it has that it has all right so we went hunting a few days later you have unlocked master hunter challenge log for more information okay it's been a bad few weeks but dutch being dutch he is busy making plans and dutch being dutch those plans involve robbery and dreams Who's Leviticus well, I thought you Cornwall. was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly at you. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He'd see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Yeah, what? We're robbing the train right now? What? All right. We're moving out. Follow me. Uh, no. Are we robbing the train right now? so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. 
there's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! Alright, well, I'm going to end this video here because I'm about to cut off on 30 minutes. And like I said, I'm trying to keep the video short. Next video we're going to be doing is on the train heist, which is literally what we're about to do. And I'm about to record that video as well. But for the sake of keeping the video under 30 minutes, I'm going to wrap it off here. And if you guys want to check out the other two episodes that I've already done, I will leave the playlist linked down below. So you guys can go check that out. Uh, there's there's not going to be any Twitter shoutouts for this video. I have not posted anything on Twitter except for one, but never mind that. I already did those shoutouts for the past video. And if you guys want a potential shoutout, if there's anything on Twitter, follow me on twitter.com slash Gaming. Retweet, comment, or like the tweet that says to retweet. Usually it's the pinned tweet on my profile. So go follow me over there. Be sure to comment, like, or retweet, and I'll be sure to shout you guys out. Feel free to follow my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All going to be linked down in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell if you guys want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough videos. And uh, open world gameplay. Like just uh, exploring or whatever. If you guys want to see that, like I said, hit the notification bell to be notified. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter mainly to find out if I'm going to be doing more videos on that or when I'm about to post or upload uh, a new video but that's gonna wrap it off for this one guys I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks a ton for watching hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll catch you guys in the next video